on the Hokies after game one. Renfro from the full. Here's the first pitch. It is just outside, and we are underway. Say that, and it turns out like yesterday. <laughs> Trailing by a couple. 2-1 deal. There's a line drive to right center. This could be trouble at the track. Looking up, it's off the top of the wall. Rounding third is the lead runner, Clark. They're going to send him. The relay is cut off. RBI double, and Duke has a 1-0 lead in the top of the third. 0-1, pulls that one to the left side. Charging and gobbling it up is Grady. The throw just in time to get him. Product on the field, it's always good to touch on. Opposite field, that one over the head of the left fielder, Winslow, and off the top of the wall. Rounding first, here's the throw, it's not in time. For so many of these guys to come back, you and I talked about it off air. A snag, no, it's off the glove of Bravo. A race to first, and he's safe. Again, a guy that's not thrown a ton of pitches on the year. Maxed out at 69 there on his 64th pitch, able to get the strikeout. Again, Johnson right now trying to do his part. Brett Renfro. Looks like Stone was going to come up throwing on that ball to second as Demartini took off, but he was unable to hang on to it. This one golfed down the line and caught on the fly by Gracia, tagging from third and coming in to score to tie things up. How about a sack fly from Cook and Micheletti touches home plate. Third a moment ago before Stone lost the ball. And now Gibson gives this one a ride over his left shoulder, Obi. He snares it. And a smacker to the right side, bobbled by Morris. Throw is not in time. I've already touched on the latter part of this season upon us. And here he'll take the walk, trying to get a second out here in the inning. Doesn't swing at that one, and the bases are loaded for Virginia Tech. Reliever of the afternoon. One away in the one-two. Swing and a miss. One-two. A called strike three. Backwards K, and Romano has some stuff to say as he struts his stuff off the mound. Can do with that pitch, but beat it into the ground. Swing and a line drive to center. Reaching over at the track and making the catch is Watson. One ball and two strikes to Watson in the pitch. Swing and a line drive to right center. It's going to roll all the way to the track. Watson pulls through. So Canizero digs in, tries to fight with two strikes in the at bat. Swing and a chopper charging and making the play is Morris. A little too much for Demartini to hit. Called strike three. Talon in the clutch, keeps the game alive. Obi battling, Manning. The pitch just upstairs. 0-1. Gets the bunt down. And they're going to cut the runner off. Gibson gets the out. Miller going to get the free pass. With a long set, and he lets it fly. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, says the first base umpire. Tony Carilli sits him down. And that retires the side. All the energy you could ask for here in Blacksburg. Duke with a strong bullpen, and they're showing out today. 3-1 is outside. And that one plunks him. Two runners on, and he gets the bunt down. O'Shell looks to third. The throw is in time for the force. 0-2 deal. Swing and a chopper left side. This could be a double play ball. 6-4, and the throw to first is not in time. One ball, no strikes to Martin. Swing and a line drive. It's caught. The throw across the diamond in time. No, it's dropped. Are you kidding me? And that's how the Hokies win it. Wow. And just like that, we are underway. Putting the one two. Swing and a chopper left side, gloved by D. Martini. Throw across the diamond. And it's in time. I think we're going to get our first review here on the very first play of this game. <laughs> I actually thought that he had beat it out. Here's a great look. I think this call is overturned. And Duke has one aboard, nobody out. He makes the point, and he's safe. 2 1 on the way. Runner goes, pitch misses, throw down, gets into the outfield. Stolen base for Zach Morris. Payoff again. Swing and a fly ball, towering drive left field. Canizero at the wall, he leaps and it's gone. Two run blast for the Blue Devils. A.J. Gracia. 
and they take a 2-0 lead. And that's exactly what you have seen all weekend long. Gracia spoils the quality fastball the pitch prior. Brings home the 1-2. Check swing, did he go? Home plate umpire Tony Carilli says he did. A 1. Swing and a drive into the gap left center field. Both outfielders going back, and this is gone. Ben Miller with number 11 on this season. Second of this series, you cannot keep him quiet. No, he does it again. You saw a good swing on the first pitch, pulls it left side, but then comes right back on the next one from Stig. 2-2, Two -two, chopped to the hot corner. Gloved by Miller. On to first, and it gets away. Clay Grady's aboard first, and we'll see how they score this. The first, 3-1, check swing. Pitch misses down and away. It's a five-pitch walk for Chick Martin. First and second, one gone. 1-1, one, one, cranked into left field for a base hit. Clay Grady waved around third. The throw is cut off, and he comes in to score. Ben Watson cuts the lead in half, an RBI single. Their second hit. Canizero rifles one on the ground into right. Christian Martin waved around third. He comes in to score and Tech's back within one. Chopper up the middle, gloved on a hop, and he tosses to first in time for out number two. Over the middle of the plate here, load him up, put the force in play here. and Ground ball left side, scooped up by Miller. On to first, it's high and it gets away. Watson comes in to score. Canizero right behind him, and Virginia Tech has taken a one-run lead. All year, finding a few struggles here in this one. Tackett with a base hit into right. Demartini scores. Ebel stops at second, and Virginia Tech's up two. Gabe Nard, 2-2. Two -two. Swing at a foul tip into the glove of Winslow. 2-1. Swing and a fly ball deep to left field. Going back is Cruson, and it's gone. Solo shot for Eddie Micheletti to lead off in the bottom of the fifth. Well, it's not the start you're looking for if you're Emus and the Blue Devils. Micheletti there just gets extended. Left-handed hitting Micheletti goes down the line right at the foul pole. and 3-0 to Martini. And it misses high, a four-pitch walk for DeMart. He missed to go eight in a row between DeMartini and Ebel, and there it is, one extra free pass for Ebel. Two aboard, still no out. One, two. Swing and a miss, but it gets away between the legs of Winslow. To drive in that seventh and eighth run here in this one. Well, this one gets away. Coming in to score Carson DeMartini, and it's seven to three, Virginia Tech. He kicks and deals, one, two. Popped up, right side, just behind home plate. And Winslow makes the catch, playing with a four-run lead. The 1-0. Line drive up the middle. It'll be a base hit for Alex Stone. The designated hitter to lead things off in the top of the sixth. 1-1. Rifled into right. This is down for a base hit. Alex Stone around second. Gunning for third, the throw by Micheletti is cut off by Grady, and there's runners on the corners. Breaking ball cranked into the air, right field. Micheletti hauls it in. Runner stays put at first, and there's two gone. That's a good sack fly there for Obi, though, to pick up one. There's Wallace Clark, righty on lefty. He cranks this one right side, diving stop by Ebel. He takes it to the bag himself for out number three. 1-1. One, one. Fastball cranked right side. And it one hops the right fielder to Gracia. A leadoff base hit for Christian Martin. Second time he's done that today. With a glance to first, the 2 1. Grounded left side. Backhand isn't there for Miller. He scoops, throws, and it's over the head of Bravo. Free bases for the Hokies. Martin rounding third. The throw to the plate is off target, and Christian Martin scores. 8 4 Virginia Tech. He cranks it right side through for a base hit. Watson comes in to score. It's still stuck in the corner as Micheletti stops at second, strums the guitar with a stand-up RBI double. It's on the way. 
Swing and a blast. Shallow right field. Gracia chasing under it. And he makes the catch on the run. 3-2 pitch here. Line drive up the middle. It hits off the left leg of Grant Manning and trickles into left field. Lead off base hit for Macon Winslow, his second hit of the ball game in his many at-bats. Came around to score after swiping a bag. Cranks this one into left field. Got triple written all over it as it's off the wall and tough play in left for Canizero. He stops at second. He offers 1-1. Swing at a line drive, one hops Grady. He tosses to second, and they grab one there. Brings home the 1-1. One -one. Swing at a drive, through the right side for a base hit. Miller around second to third. 2-0. Chopped left side. Gloved on a hop by Grady, throw to second. This time it's not in time. And it brings in Miller to score. Crowell deals. Swing and a drive, deep to left field. Canizero's back and it is gone! Three run bomb for the Blue Devils! Logan Bravo, after the error in the bottom of the 11th last night at first, redeems with a towering blast here in Blacksburg. The payoff pitch, misses outside. Tackett flings the bat to a top team in the conference. Oh, Henry Cook gets tagged on the first pitch on a chilly day in Blacksburg. Nothing too pretty here. 3-0, down and away, bases juiced. 1-2 to Watson. He swings, line drive, and it's caught by the shortstop Clark for out number two. Panizero with the plate. 1-2, misses, it gets past Winslow, and a run scores, Tackett slides in. 10-9, Virginia Tech on top. 2-2, two, two. swing and a miss. He struck him out with a high fastball, but the Blue Devils do give up one. He's the leader nonetheless here in the eighth. He wants to find a way aboard, but instead. He hits one well, deep to center, well. and he clears the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Wallace Clark ties us up at 10 with a solo shot to straightaway center. It's 10 all in the top of the eighth here in Blacksburg. Oh, that's incredible there. I was watching the movement of. 2-1. He rifles it up the middle. Backhanded glove from Martin. Throw on the run in time for out number three. They don't appear to be strikes from here. Good call from the home plate umpire. <laughs> and there's strike two. And Grazia had already tossed his bat. And instead the payoff. Swing and a towering drive, deep to right, Micheletti at the wall, and he watches it out of here. Blue Devils in front, 11 to 10 in the ninth. Well, if you're Duke, you want ball four, enough that Pollard called time. Saw some frustration, but if you're Tech, as you fast forward, you now want ball four. Instead, it's a solo shot and a one-run lead here in the top of the ninth. And a very questionable plate appearance as well, as that one's lifted right center. And it one hops over the wall, a ground rule double. Two hits in the inning for the Blue Devils, two extra base hits. A long look in, brings it to the belt, 2-2. Two -two. This is towered into the air, straight away center field. Watson is back. And this is gone! Off the batter's eye! Blue Devils by three! Devin Obi, two-run shot to straightaway center. Well, we talked about Garcia getting a hold. One, two. Line drive left field, caught by Martini as he leaps into the air and snares it for out number three. Lights out, the 0-2. Did he go? Home plate umpire, and Tony Carilli says he did. For Coach Pollard and Duke. But if you're Virginia Tech, as Martin rolls over there, 4-3 put out for a quick second out. He deals, 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Bielinson with save number nine, and the Blue Devils win the series here in Blacksburg. 